All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to fix lag that's happening when you use DS4 Windows in order to function as your main driver to play games with a controller on your Windows PC. So the first way to handle reducing lag is to plug your controller in with a cable rather than using Bluetooth, because depending on your Bluetooth device in your computer, it might be laggy or slowing the connection down. If you do have a Bluetooth device in your computer and it's pretty new and you're actually like right next to the computer, make sure you have the antennas plugged in that come with it and that they're not obstructed by anything. Like, you know, they could be sitting behind your computer wound up, you know, plugged right in, but because they're right up against metal stuff directly behind your computer, they might not be able to broadcast. So if they're on a long cord, Try sticking those antennas up on top of your desk somewhere. Otherwise, plug that bad boy in, which I'm about to do myself. And it should change my connection. Well, the primary connection status right now is Bluetooth, which it says so right here, but it's now charging. The other things we can do is we can change a few settings inside of the profile, which is the settings profile. It's over here under edit. You can click edit and you can go to other, and here's a couple different things that we can tweak to try to fix that. So down here at the bottom, we can enable output data to DS4. So basically, this is gonna tell DS4 Windows what's going on with the controller, what the battery levels are, what some of the diagnostic data is, but it actually slows down the controller if it reports back what's going on. So you can untoggle this as one way to improve things. And then the other thing is you can set the pull rate to as high as it will go. Maximum one millisecond pull rate. So it's constantly reporting back to your computer and constantly pinging your computer as opposed to the default, which is about 250 hertz for milliseconds when it's on Bluetooth. The pull rate will reduce your battery life a little bit. I haven't noticed it be a, an extremely detrimental reduction in battery life, but if you don't charge your controller very often, maybe consider charging it more regularly if you change this setting. And then for the most part, those are the two main settings that you can tweak in order to improve the responsiveness and reduce lag on the controller. A lot of it comes from the output data setting, oddly enough. And then once you're done with those settings, just don't forget to hit save here at the top to make sure that those settings are saved. And then that should hopefully help with the lag problems that you're having with DS4 Windows. You might also run this as an admin. I haven't personally found that that helps a bit, but some people in previous tutorials have reported in the comments that running this as admin helps. Maybe there's some program on their computer that's interfering and that helps it get some priority going. I don't know. But those two settings are primarily what will help you along with plugging in your cable. The cable itself is, you know, the, the lowest latency you're going to get with most peripherals or game controlling accessories. So just keep that in mind. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope those settings help you improve your DS4 Windows experience. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.